resurrection morning when that last trumpet sound and they all the dying Christ they begin to rise up from the ground Oh! <laughs> 
something a little different this morning. When we come to the chorus, when we come to the chorus, I want the congregation, this, this side of the congregation to sing. Yes, I did, y'all. I 
lest he be grieved. But truly, as the Lord lives, and as thy soul lives, there is but a step between me and death. Then Jonathan said unto David, Whatsoever your soul desires, I will even do it for thee. Amen. Now jump down, if you would, to verse uh, 41. And as soon as the lad was gone, David rose out of a place toward the south and fell on his face to the ground and bowed himself three times and they kissed one another and wept one with another and then David exceeded. Amen. Jonathan said to David, go in peace for as much as we have sworn both of us in the name of the Lord saying, uh, the Lord be between me and thee and between my seed and thy seed forever. Amen. And he arose and departed. And Jonathan went back into the city. I'm not quite sure how we do things around here. But it seems to me that for many, uh, this will be considered Thanksgiving Sunday. Now, on Thanksgiving Day, we gorge ourselves, uh, probably in a single family or a multiple family uh, situation. Uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving can be a time when we gather around the dinner table either with a sense of tenseness that nobody mentions certain subjects, etc., etc., or we can gather with a sense of uh, free spirit and thanksgiving to God for who He is and for what He has done for us. Amen. Now, if I were to ask you uh, a question and don't answer audibly, uh, this Thanksgiving, what are you thankful for? Mm -hmm. What are you thankful for? I am sure that uh, the answer uh, could vary, and <coughs> there would be multiple things for which you are thankful. But might I suggest today that one of the things that we can be thankful for is a thing called friendship. Yeah. One introduced today her BFF. <laughs> Praise the Lord for BFF. Um, in this chapter, we find a friendship that is uh, to a degree somewhat unusual. Yeah. So I want you to explore it with me uh, today. Back up, uh, if you would, to chapter 18, uh, if, uh, if you can. And uh, it reads this way in verses 1 and 2. It says, uh, in fact, um, <coughs> excuse me, 1 and 2. It says, and it came to pass when he had uh, made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Amen. And Saul took him that day and would let him go no more uh, home to his own father's house. Now, in order to, uh, in this chapter, we, we find an endearing friendship of David and Jonathan. And in order to really understand the depth and the quality of this friendship, what we need to do is go back and look at the history of, uh, of, of 
uh, Saul, David, and Jonathan uh, just a little bit, all right? The children of Israel, you remember, were considered what we call nomadic people. You know what that means? That means they go from place to place, never having a real uh, uh, anchor place that uh, they were on their way to the promised land. Mm -hmm. And around them were all of these other nations. You remember that? Who had kings. Mm -hmm. And apparently the children of Israel began to murmur about the fact that they did not have a king. The Lord said to them, you want a king? I will give you a king. Uh, and in 1 Samuel chapter 9, if you remember, um, uh, uh, God chose Saul um, to be uh, the king over Israel. Saul was a, a Benjamite. And according to the scriptures in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 9 and 2, um, Saul was very much like me. He was tall, he was dark. <laughs> For the scripture declares that in all of Israel, there was really none like him in terms of handsomeness. And uh, from the shoulder up, he was very sturdy, strong, and healthy. Um, Saul had a son. His name was Jonathan. Um, but Saul had one big problem. Apparently he had conquered people that were around him. Uh, but the Philistines gave him fits. Especially one Philistine called Goliath. You remember the story. And here we are introduced to a young man who is called David. According to uh, 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 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel 17, verses 56, 57, and 58. Uh, now David came in and he took care of one named Goliath. And according to 1 Samuel chapter 18 uh, and verse 7, um, chapter 18 and verse 7, uh, on his way home, the scripture says that the women, bless their hearts, women are always in the lead at the forefront. Amen? Amen. And the women came out and began to sing and played their instrument. And here's what they said. They said, Saul has slain his thousands, uh -huh. but David has slain his ten thousand. And you know what? That kind of a got under Saul's ire. And, and, and he, got, he got very angry. So jealousy begins to rear his head. And all of a sudden, Saul decided that it was time to get rid of David. And so David was on the run from Saul. And it was at this point that we find a Jonathan and David again in chapter uh, 20. Um, please notice how that chapter begins. It says that David fled and came before Jonathan. And he asked Jonathan, he said, Jonathan, what have I done? Uh, what's, my, what's my sin? What have I done to make your daddy so angry that he wants to take my life? I want you to notice... Uh, what uh, he said, what uh, Jonathan said unto him. He says, God forbid that you should live your life in faith. Uh, I am going to assure you that you shall not die. Lord have mercy. He said, you shall not die. And, and, and then they go on to discuss a plot. And the plot was that they were going to conspire. Uh, a feast was coming up, a three-day feast. And, and, and the king usually sets a table. 
um, David would be absent from this table for three days. And when Saul asked about David, Jonathan would tell a lie to his father in order to cover uh, for David. Uh, so this went on, and, and uh, the plot was, uh, and I'm trying to summarize it so I can have some preaching time. Amen? Uh, 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 so Jonathan was to go to his father and kind of a pick his brain just a little bit. Yeah. And, and if, if the news was good news, Jonathan would get it back to David as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. If it were bad news, he would do the same. Yeah. Uh, so that David uh, could make an escape. And sure enough, sure enough, uh, the news was not good. Mm. But I want you to look at a couple of uh, verses with me. Uh, in terms of exegesis before we go to the practical application. Uh, I want you to look at verses uh, 12 and uh, 13 of chapter 20. <clears throat> uh, here is the covenant. He said, Jonathan said unto David, O Lord God of Israel. Now watch this. What you need to understand is there, he's making an oath you know what an oath is? A swear or a promise to David. And he is making this promise underneath the name of the Lord God of Israel. Let me tell you what the scripture says. That we ought to be swearing neither under heaven nor under earth. Uh, in the name of God or in the name of the church. Uh, but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Brothers and sisters, the time has come, especially for believers, that a man ought to be able to count on your word. A woman ought to be able to count on your word. When you give, when you give a word, it ought to be as good as any anything signed and notarized by any attorney. Amen? He says, when I have sounded my father out tomorrow, any time, or the third day, and behold, if, uh, if there be good toward David, and I then send not unto thee, and show it unto thee. <laughs> he goes on to say, the Lord do so, and much more uh, to Jonathan. But if it please my father, to do evil, then I will show it to thee and, and send thee away that you may go in peace and uh, the Lord be with thee as he has been with my father. In other words, this is a, this is a covenant, a, a bond, a commitment. Uh, this is what... Uh, Jonathan and uh, and David agreed that they would do in terms of uh, in terms of uh, Jonathan going to get information uh, from his father. Now, before I go to the practical application, I also need uh, to uh, look at verses uh, uh, forty-one and forty-two very quickly because this is the climax of the situation. If you remember, uh, Jonathan agreed with David that when, when the news come from his father, that they would meet in a certain place, that David would be hiding in the grass. And, 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 and Jonathan would come with one of his servants, and he would shoot some arrows into the grass. Yeah. If the arrow goes to a side, it means good. If it goes in behind him, it means bad. So uh, David now, uh, Jonathan now comes out with this lad. We do not know the age of this lad. It simply says a lad. And he shot the arrows into the, into the grass and instructed the, the lad that he should go to retrieve them. When the lad retrieved uh, the arrows and came back to Jonathan, Jonathan said to him, I want you to go back to the house. Mm -hmm. In other words, I got some business to take care of. So the lad went over. And I want you to notice what happened. 
He says, as soon as the lad was gone, David arose out of a place toward the south and fell on his face on the ground. He bowed himself three times and they kissed one another and wept with one another until. Now watch this. I am told that normally for royalty, when or 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 or, or out of a sense of respect, when you come into their presence, you bow. Yeah. You notice what David did. He bowed three times. Mm. It is said that this is the only time in Scripture when this actual three times of bowing mm. is actually found. Mm. Now, 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 and then when he got up, here's what they did: they embraced each other. Can you see that show? Mm. Two grown men crying. Yeah, yeah. Like they, in, in other words, the scripture says they wept. Mm. You know what it means? I mean, if you cry, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a little tear comes down your eye. But, 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 but when you weep, on, mama would say you boo-hoo. Yeah. In, 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 in other words, you just let your emotion. Yes, sir. Just so. Yes, sir. In other words, David and Jonathan were coming to the realization that this part of the friendship is now coming to an end. Uh -huh. The point where you and I can really be in communication with each other is now coming an end. You got to go that way and I got to go back this way. Uh, I, it is a painful experience when two souls are knit together. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look at what Jonathan said to David. Go in peace. Mm -hmm. And as I as I am saying that, all my ears on my head is just standing up right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, 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 because you see, uh, sometimes, sometimes even with folk that we call friends. Mm -hmm. um, when we got to let them go, yeah. the attitude is, it's about time you get out of here. <laughs> Are you with me? Let me just give you this at a side. See, sometimes even in, in church work, Reverend, where are you? In church work, uh, uh, uh. When, when, folk, when folk get upset with whatever is going on in church, whether it be the preacher or the deacon or the program or whatever, they say, I'm, 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 I'm leaving here. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to be somebody else's problem. <laughs> but, but you know what? Uh, the man of God, the saint, ought to say to them, Go in peace. Yeah. Go yeah. in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no hard feeling. Yeah. No hurt. No ill will. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. As you move yeah. on your journey. Yeah. And, and, and then he said, uh, uh, May the Lord be good to you mm. as he has been to my father. Yeah. Uh, uh, and God was good to his father Saul simply because of his covenant with the children of Israel. Because Saul was a renegade. I wish I had time to tell you all of the foolish things that he did when he knew better. When Samuel showed up and he had done overstepped his boundary and took the place of the pretty. And he always had an excuse for what he did. Ain't that so much like us? We always have an excuse for the foolish things that we do. But uh, but 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 they departed and and uh, the rest of the story is still to be told. But let me talk about let me talk about the friendship that you ought to be uh, grateful for. Uh, uh, there are three things about this friendship uh, that I see. You 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 may see some uh, but there are three things that I see. Uh, the, the first thing that it was a friendship that was genuine. Yeah. 
You know what it means to be genuine? Mm -hmm. It's not to knock off stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that you pay big money for. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 and you don't get what you think you were buying. Uh -huh. it's, 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 it's the stuff that is real. Yeah. Go back if you would, and I, I've already uh, asked you to look at that, uh, at that text uh, in chapter 18. Uh, it says, first one says, <coughs> and we refer to it as first one B. It says, uh, the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David. And, and, and Jonathan loved him uh, as he loved his own soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you know what that means? It, it, it means that from this point on, these two were so knitted together yeah. in spirit, in camaraderie, in everything, that, that, that folk just could not tell them apart. They were so close together. In other words, you could not get between them. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. I, I, I just need to say this. In... in, in in the church, hallelujah, it's more than just coming to get happy on Sunday. Oh, uh, you need to find a friend yeah. that you can connect with, yeah. hallelujah, uh, that you can bond with. Yeah. Uh, you need to find a friend that you are excited about on Sunday morning. Not only meeting with God, but meeting with that friend. That the word goes out that you and that friend are inseparable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at verse 3 of 18. He said, Jonathan and David made a covenant. Why? Because he loved him as he loved his own soul. Now maybe this is why the great commandment says that we ought to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Because See, if you are clothed in your right mind, well. you're not going to do no harm to you. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. I, I, I might want to shoot you with a gun. <laughs> I might want to stab you with a knife. I may want to drop a hammer on your toe, but I ain't going to do that to me. I, I'm not going to do that to me. And, and, and what the scripture is saying is, the things that you would not do to yourself, you are not to be doing to a friend. Watch this now. Let me tell you how genuine this was. In verse 4 of chapter 18, it says that Jonathan stripped himself of the robe. Now we're going to talk about that later. Because if Jonathan was in line to be king of Israel, mm -hmm. being the son of Saul. Mm -hmm. but, but what he did... He just said, here, David, mm -hmm. it's all here. Mm -hmm. He stripped himself of, and, 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 and he actually gave it, as the scripture says, uh, um, to, to, to David and all of the garment, even to his sword. He, he gave it all of the military paraphernalia yeah. that was on his belonging and said to him, David is yours. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. Ah, uh, once in a while, one of my friends and 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 and, and I will call no names, <laughs> but would say to me, Pastor, do you love me? <laughs> See, when that question comes up, I know they want something. <laughs> 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 but, but, but then if we go a step further, 
How much you love me? <laughs> then, 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 then uh, suppose I say yes. Yeah. Suppose I, I would like you. You love me? And I, and I said, you said, yeah, you love me. I said, well, if you love me, why don't you give me that nice Cadillac? <laughs> All of a sudden, your love begin to back down. <laughs> and do you love me? Would you give me that nice home that you live in? That's paid off. No <laughs> helpers. Do you love me? Would you let me into your bank account? Uh oh. Going too far now. Yeah. How much? How much? But, but, but listen to what Jonathan did. He actually stripped himself yes, of all of his royalty and handed it over to David. Mm -hmm. Now, brothers and sisters, I don't know how you see that, but in my opinion, that's real. That's real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's genuine friendship. Mm -hmm. It was not only a genuine friendship, but 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 it was a friendship uh, that was uh, founded or based on what I call mutual trust. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want a friend. That I can't trust. That's right. And, and, and I can't trust. I mean, uh, every time you turn around, they are reneging on the promises that they made you. Yeah. Uh, in verse 15 of chapter 20. <coughs> Let's read it. It says, But also you shall not cut off thy kindness from my house forever. Lord have mercy. He, he, he says, uh, No, not when the Lord had cut off the enemies of David, everyone from the face of the earth. Hmm. Uh, right there, brothers and sisters, is, 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 the, is the, what I call the meat of the covenant. Now, now, now there, there are some things that are implied in here. Uh, us foolish homo sapiens hmm. sometimes don't understand what God is doing. And even in that light, uh, Jonathan was seeing, was actually prophesying. Mm -hmm. What he was saying is, you know, there's going to come a time when I'm not going to be king. Well. And, and my line will be cut off. And the, the, the actual, the policy, the conventional way of doing things, when I become king, I'm going I'm to make sure that, that, that you don't have an insurrection. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut off all of your lineage. Mm -hmm. In other words, Jonathan and David were saying, we are friends. Not, 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 not just what I can get out of it this evening, if you don't get mad. <coughs> uh, but, but, but we're in it for the long haul. Mm -hmm. In other words, I, 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 I want to be able to trust you mm -hmm. for tomorrow, mm -hmm. for next year, for the future, and for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what the terms of agreement were. Number one, it says, when David became king, and again, that's Jonathan's insight into the fact that, that's God, that, that God would do something, whether he understood it or not, this is what he was saying. God is going to do something. When, when, when David became king, he would show the sons of Saul and failing kindly, kindness, like that, that is shown by the Lord. Look at verse 14. 
He says, he, he, he says, and, and, and thou shall not only while yet live show me kindness of the Lord that I may not die. Uh, 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 uh. He, he said, look at verse 15. He says, but also you shall not cut off uh, your kindness from my house forever. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> that, that David must never, and I, I, somebody said, I, I'll never do something like that. I, I said, don't say the word never. <laughs> That's an awful strong word. But, but look at it. Look, is that what David, is that what Jonathan said? Yeah. He, he, he said that you, <clears throat> that you will, uh, you will not cut off your kindness from my house forever. You know what that means? That's eternity. <coughs> in, in, in other words, we are in this for the long haul. Now watch this. Did, did you get that? He said, to my house. Mm -hmm. in, other, in, in other words, what, 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 uh, what David is saying is, is this. What, what Jonathan is saying is that when you become king, uh, here, 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 here is our place to each other, that you will look kindly to, 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 uh, to all of the Saulites. Uh, not only the Saulites, but you look kindly, kindly to all of my descendants. Will it be grand, great, grand, great, great, grand, great, 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 grand? With anything that is linked to me, you will show kindness to forever. Now, now, now brothers and sisters, I, 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 you know, I come to the, I don't understand it, but, but I, uh, I clearly said to you that that's friendship. Yes, sir. Because you never know. What them folk will do. <laughs> uh, you never know how they're going to act. How they're going to behave. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but watch this. The covenant relationship says, this is what I'm going to promise. Uh, I'm going to promise this to you forever and forever. Mm -hmm. no, 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 let me, let me, um, I'm going here. I'm going here. <laughs> Relationship is so important. Mm. Am I looking around? Am I seeing any young people? I'm going to talk about covenant relationship. Mm. There's a whole lot of folk who stand before me over these 45 years on, yeah. and said, I do. Mm. Now, this is after they have said, for better, for worse. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I am told that it's a, a, yeah, yeah, you know that word. The statistic says that about fifty percent of them, somewhere along the way, when life gets a little rocky, <coughs> they go see an attorney and say something like unreconcilable differences. <laughs> Who's your best friend? Mm. Mm. The adversary will always try to put a wedge between you and your best friend. Say it, man. Oh. Say it, man. But the, the Christian knows that all of his promises are true. Mm. And greater is he who is in you uh, yes, sir. than he who is all yes, sir. in you. Yes, yes. Are you with me? Yeah. Yes. 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 So, 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 so this, was, this was a dangerous thing for David to do. Mm -hmm. See, but David knew who his maker was. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, and, and he knew that God could work through him to fulfill. And, and by the way, let, let, let's talk about fulfillment. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's a guy uh, by the name of, uh, I want to say my foot, my foot, my, 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 my,
who was Jonathan's uh, uh, son. Yeah, yeah. According to 2 Samuel, here what David did two things. He gave him a seat at the royal table. Now, 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 see, it's all right to talk about what the Bible says, but let's not let's not kid ourselves. Let's uh, let's let's be let's be honest. Uh, if you had any suspicion whatsoever about me that, that, that I would do you harm, are you going to invite me to your Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> in fact, in fact, David spared his life, according to 2 Samuel, even when there was suspicion that he was up to no good. But brother and sister, that's what a friend does. When a friend makes a promise, on hell or high water, mm -hmm. he, will, he or she will keep that from you. Then I'm going to throw you under the bus, mm -hmm. as the expression goes. But watch this now. In order for that to work, you got to trust me that I'm going to keep my side of the covenant, and I got to trust you yeah. that you're going to keep your side yeah. of the covenant. Yeah. And the only way that we can trust is in each other is if we know that we're both grounded. Mm. Yes. Mm. <coughs> in the word of God. Amen. The covenant actually was mutually beneficial to both parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the sense of the word. Mutually beneficial to both parties. Uh, they, um, David um, was able to go away. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm going to tell you uh, what is very evident. Jonathan had to go back home to his daddy. Mm -hmm. And his daddy knew yeah. that he had befriended him yeah. and ultimately protected him and sent him away. Now, now, fathers, let me say this. There are some things we have, we just have difficulty with. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when folk don't do what we think they ought to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I've seen fathers who have cut off children. Ooh. Simply God, the children ain't behaving right. Wow. Wow. No, the question is, what is right? Is it in the eyes of God? Mm -hmm. Or is what you think I ought to do? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, uh, but, but even at that cost, Jonathan was willing to say to David, go in peace. Mm -hmm. That's what you call mutual trust. Mm -hmm. Finally, oh, I... I, I, I let me just give you your right. Then we go home. Finally, it was it was a friendship that looks out for the best interest of the other person. Wow. Yeah. Did you hear that? It was a friendship. Here, here is what we say, and I'm going to I'm going to put these notes aside, and I'm just going to talk here for a minute. Here's what we say in life. You scratch my back, <laughs> I scratch yours. But you see, in reality, it, 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 it really isn't that way. What Jonathan did was he actually, uh, when you read verses 12, 13, and actually go back up to verse 2 of, of chapter 20, it just kind of lays out the idea that, that, uh, that both of them uh, would benefit from, from the covenant. But, but the covenant was not selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it looked out for, uh, Jonathan was looking out for David. Mm -hmm. And David was looking out for Jonathan. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 self had somehow the other been buried. Mm -hmm. And selfishness <coughs> came into play mm -hmm. in a very raw way mm -hmm. in this friendship. Uh, what, what's your friendship uh, like? Um, if, if necessary, uh, uh, Jonathan said, <clears throat> I'll send David away safely. And what, now watch this. Nobody, nobody can accuse uh, um, Jonathan uh, or David are coercing Jonathan because Jonathan voluntarily 
brought up this idea that this is what it ought to be. Not now. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. Do folk have to hand tap you? And <laughs> finally hit you over the head <coughs> for you to get the idea? <laughs> or is your friendship broad enough? secure enough in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. that you can look out for the other person mm -hmm. and know that God will bless your effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, 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 Here, here, here's what we don't understand. There is enough of Jesus to go around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And God is so clear that when we begin to give away Jesus mm -hmm. and folks say we're crazy mm -hmm. by doing what we do, God's grace is sufficient yeah. to bring protection on you yeah. so that you will not be harmed, but you will be blessed. Yeah. 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 Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But now we've talked about Jonathan and David. Let me introduce to you my friend. His name is Jesus. Mm. All right. Beautiful example of what we've all been talking about. He emptied himself of yes. his glory. Yes. You know, he emptied himself mm -hmm. and his glory. That's right. He came down to earth as a sinful man. Mm -hmm. In other words, the word of God says he became saint mm -hmm. in order that we might become the righteousness of God. Amen. 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 When I think about what Jonathan did by stripping himself mm -hmm. of his royal robe, and all of his military paraphernalia wow. and handing it over to David. I think about what God in Christ Jesus did on the cross yeah. nearly 2,000 years ago. Amen. He became sin in order that we might become the righteousness of God. Yeah. That's what the scripture said. Mm -hmm. And he emptied himself of all of his glory in order that we might become ears of the kingdom yeah. and joint ear yeah. with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now let me ask, let, let, and nobody answers. How many of you here today that God's, God's been blessed beyond your imagination? Mm -hmm. Everybody in town just knows who you are mm -hmm. because of the blessings of God. Mm -hmm. And I come in I said, would you share it with me? And you're going to say, not a problem, preacher. Help yourself. <clears throat> this is what God did for us in Christ Jesus. All we need to do is to come in obedience to Him. To say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Would you have mercy? Amen. And the rest would be history. Because He's already been able to be on the cross. What are you thankful for? Do you have a friend? You might need to ask God, give me a friend that I can trust. Give me a friend that won't disappoint me. Give me a friend. And stay with me. Come on. So we turn. Father God, we come to you. Thank you for our best friend Jesus who died in our state. But Lord, as we struggle here with relationships down on this earth, we pray that your Holy Spirit will lead us, guide us, and forgive us. If there's one here today who needs to make some commitment us, give up the courage, give up the grace to just do that. We give this invitation not to you and ask your will be done. And as we say, as the Holy Spirit of God knocks at your heart's door, as some believer who is here may be praying for you, would you say yes? Take your hymn book to start with page number one. 275. As we say, as believers pray, and as the Holy Spirit of God, I'm waiting for you. And if you need to trust Jesus and you really don't know how, we'll help you if you understand why you would be saved. If you know that this is the church family, in which your life ought to be uh, grounded uh, and in service to God, come on, come on, join this church. If you just need to rededicate your life to God in person, I'll be glad to pray with you. Or you may just want to call me. I'll be safe.